Okay, y'all. Well, I have all of the lights um, that I have right now. Um, some of my lights from last year actually um, have died. <laughs> y'all know how it is. It's like you put the lights up. The lights work all Christmas long, Christmas season. You take them off. You carefully wrap them. You put them up. You store them up for the next Christmas season and when you pull them back out, they don't work. <laughs> like, what is up with that? I don't even understand. But anyway, me and Black Man got um, the lights on that do work. And um, I love just the clear lights, y'all. And don't get me wrong, I love the color lights too because I grew up with that. You know, that is like the old school you know colorful traditional um ways to decorate the tree with color lights and the children typically love the color lights and riley love the color lights so i'm gonna always use the color lights on at least one of the trees in the house and right now we only have one um big tree anyway we have two smaller trees and um one of them is only gonna have clear. One of them will have, probably have both um, on the trees. Um, so um, anyway, I put the color lights on because my baby loves the color lights, and I want her to be happy with our Christmas tree. You know, so um, I have to go tomorrow to get some more lights. My car, y'all. I've been having some issues with my car. My car isn't cranking. I had to um, actually have it towed to the shop um, to see what's going on with it. And I just got this car in May. And it's like, since getting this car, y'all, I have had, like, the worst. I don't necessarily say luck, but, because I don't believe in luck, but it's been weird with this with this car. Because, you know, for those of y'all that know, and for those of y'all that don't, uh, we went to um, Texas in July and um, right before we went to Texas the couple of branches off the tree in front of um, the apartment actually fell um, to the car and um, knocked out the front windshield, the back window, um, like dented up the top of the car pretty bad. Um, it was a mess. Um, me and Kayla end up like losing our jobs as a result of that happening. It, it really threw us for a loop. Um, we thought we weren't going to be able to take our trip to um, Texas and the kids were going to um, DreamCon. So they had already purchased their tickets. They were like really, really, really excited about it. And um, 
thankfully everything worked out. We were able to get the windows fixed in time and um, we were able to still go. But it was weird, like it wasn't any bad weather. Um, it wasn't any rain or anything, y'all. This tree in front of our house is like, it's a widow maker. That's what they call them. And they still haven't come to cut the tree down. It's just been a mess. And so now it's like the car isn't um, cranking. Um, over the past couple of weeks, it's been acting really weird and um, like cutting off when you come to a stop sign. And um, we thought it was the alternator. I ended up having to pay this guy to come out and check the alternator. He uh, took it off and we had it checked. And like the alternator was like $250. You know what I'm saying? Plus the $25 cord and it was just a mess and it wasn't the alternator. And I still had to pay him, you know, for his labor. So it was just like weird. Hold on. Hold on y'all. One second. Um, anyway, the car was like not, it was like cutting off when you come to a stop sign and crank it back up it'll crank but it was like the, the lights were like um flickering and dimming and coming back and dimming and you know brightening back up and stuff and it was just acting really weird and just a whole mess so i i actually sent it to the shop a couple days ago and they still haven't found out what's wrong with it. they ain't even had it diagnosed yet so i'm still waiting to see what's going on with it y'all and i check out this car in may and I, I, I believe something is wrong with the motor. Even the guy who came out and looked at it and stuff, he put it on his little, um, he had like a little scanner or whatever to di diagnose it, you know what I'm saying? Um, see what's going on with it. And it had a couple of sensors that were bad and he said that he, it sounded like something was broken in the motor and it does. It, it sounds really bad. So. You know, I'm hoping that they haven't sold me a lemon. Um, if they have, I don't, I don't even know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure they're going to try to make me be responsible for still paying for the car. And I just don't know. You know, I'm going to have to check it, you know, do my research to see, like, legally what my options are. And uh, go from there. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and just do what I can do to, um, as far as putting my picks on at the bottom of the tree. I'm gonna put some picks on and a few ornaments and stuff just to, you know, get a good start. Um, I'm not gonna be up too late. It's almost, it's like two o'clock in the morning, I believe, <laughs> and I'm just up. Um, I am getting tired, so I'm finna take a shower in a few minutes after doing this. And, um, get me some sleep and then I'll do some more tomorrow but just um, want to give y'all a little rundown on what's going on with the tree alright y'all back to it